Hello my dear friends and welcome back to another video. Before we get into the news today, I want to bring attention to a GoFundMe page for the amazing Star Wars author and editor J.W. Rinsler. This man has written so many amazing making of books not only for Star Wars but other franchises as well. To the distress of all of us, he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and is now making end-of-life plans. On Twitter, his daughter has shared the GoFundMe link and I've also put it in the description down below. We're not too far off the goal amount but every little bit helps. So please consider donating if you can. Thank you so much for listening. So my dear friends, let's get into the news. We're going to start with Obi-Wan Kenobi and we have some big character news. Both C-3PO and R2-D2 are going to appear in the series. LRM Online have revealed this a few hours ago and in their article they unveil new details as well as confirm the recent rumours that Sung Kang is going to be playing the fifth brother and that we're also going to see a young Princess Leia. At the end of the article, as we're going to see in a minute, they also tease that this coming Friday there's going to be a huge announcement for Star Wars that's not related to Obi-Wan Kenobi. So let's dive into it and see what they had to say. R2 and 3PO in Kenobi, we'll get to that below. First of all, we want to back up the recent Sung Kang and Leia rumour for Obi-Wan Kenobi, first broke by Jordan Mason of Cinelinks on Friday. Then we will add to that all we know so far. So they begin by saying that on Friday, LRM Online reported that multiple Inquisitors are going to appear in Kenobi, in addition to the character played by Moses Ingram. At the time, we were not quite ready to reveal the name of those Inquisitors, but Sung Kang is playing none other than the fifth brother. Further on in the article, they talk about Princess Leia appearing, and then they talk about R2 2D2 and C3PO. In their own words, they say yes, it makes sense if Leia is around, so might R2 and 3PO be. LRM can exclusively reveal that both R2 and 3PO will make an appearance in Kenobi. Again, we cannot say how big a role they're going to have, but they are in it. The article goes on to say, when we first heard this news over the weekend, co-host Kyle Malone was a bit worried. As Kyle pointed out with 3PO's memory wipe at the end of episode 3, he really should not meet Obi-Wan Kenobi again before A New Hope. However, we must remember that just because R2 and 3PO are in it, it doesn't mean they share any scenes with Ewan McGregor. In fact, it's even possible that Leia won't be in any scenes with Kenobi, even though she's rumoured to be a central character throughout the series. The article then goes on to reveal something really huge for all prequels and Clone Wars fans, that we are going to see major flashbacks between Obi-Wan and Anakin, and the time frame for these flashbacks are between Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith. So basically, we are going to see Clone Wars Anakin, and that's why Hayden Christensen has been growing his hair out. So after this section, guys, they talk about what's coming up this Friday. In their own words, they say, talking about the cantina, we are cooking up the biggest story of the week for Friday's episode. If we can get confirmation of this one, which is a non-Kenobi related piece of news, we will go live with the news on air. They then say that they can't guarantee this until questions are asked from their top tier source, but they are very hopeful. So let's break this all down and we're going to start with the R2-D2 and C-3PO news. As those of you who've been subscribed to me for a long time know, droids are my favourite part of Star Wars. When I was a little girl, I would collect all of the astromech and protocol droid action figures from the prequels. I remember when I first saw R2-D2 on screen when I saw The Empire Strikes Back when I was 6 years old, and I was super giddy, I just found him adorable and lovable. To this very day, I consider him to be the most special character who held a very important place in my childhood. And in a sense, I think we all have one character who we hold above all others. And to that extent, I want you guys to share yours down below. For me, it was R2-D2 because he symbolises everything innocent about Star Wars, especially in the original movie. So this piece of news naturally gets me super excited and if you couple that with the hype that I already had for Kenobi, all I can say is I need this show yesterday. What's really awesome about the return of C-3PO is that we get Anthony Daniels reprising his role once again. The man is a British legend and after seeing the rise of Skywalker, I feared that we would never get to see him again on screen, so this is excellent news all around and I also want to point out that in the last few days there's been a little bit of jibber jabber concerning the return of Palpatine in Kenobi. But until a credible source reports on this, it's just hearsay. Things are really coming together now for the Kenobi series and I'm so excited. Now on the issue of the big reveal coming this Friday, we have literally no idea what it's going to be about, but we can confirm it won't be for Obi-Wan Kenobi. Kenobi. A lot of people have said that it could be for the Ahsoka series because Mena Masood, who's going to play Ezra Bridger, has been hinting at stuff on his Instagram page. But I will keep you guys in the know about everything going on and Friday is set to be a 
massive day, not only because of this upcoming announcement, but also because we get The Bad Batch episode 13. So let me know what you guys think of all of this in the comments down below. And now my dear Megalorians, we're going to move on and talk about The Mandalorian season 3. On Instagram, Katie Sackhoff confirmed that she's about to start filming on The Mandalorian. And this basically confirms the report from the other day that states that The Mandalorian is now in active production and filming will begin soon. On the subject of Pedro Pascal, who's currently filming for The Last of Us, he might not be needed on set for the first few weeks. After all, there are stunt doubles, and if he's not going to remove his helmet, they can add his voice in later. But Katie Sackhoff strongly teased that she is going back to work, and as far as we know, she's not working on anything but The Mandalorian Season 3 right now. Knowing that Bo-Katan is going to have a much more central role in Season 3 is really exciting, and might suggest that we are going to head to Mandalore, because in the Season 2 finale, there was a lot of tension between Din Djarin and Bo-Katan, notably that she wants the Darksaber that he rightfully won when he fought Moff Gideon. The big question is if Din Djarin is going to rule Mandalore, or if Bo-Katan will challenge him for the Darksaber. When the Mandalorian Season 2 was in full swing, we spoke a lot about Bo-Katan on the channel, and one thing I pointed out over and over again is that Dave Filoni has written her character in live action to be very dislikable. You might argue that she was already dislikable in the Clone Wars and of course Star Wars Rebels, but in The Mandalorian specifically, it seems as though she has much more of an attitude. One specific scene that we can point to in The Mandalorian Season 2 is when Bo-Katan insulted Boba Fett, especially his voice, and then Koska Reeves, who is Sasha Banks' character, went on to fight him. So it's going to be really interesting how the dynamic between Din Djarin and Bo-Katan plays out when Season 3 drops, and hopefully guys, we are going to get it in Spring of 2022. With production that's begun two months early, and with filming about to start, things are really looking good for Mando fans. But remember guys, we don't have to wait until 2022 to get our next chapter in the Mandalorian universe, because this coming December, as we know, we have the Book of Boba Fett, which is set to be absolutely epic with saga-wide implications. We can also expect a lot of cameos from the Mandalorian and massive cameos generally across the Star Wars universe. So let me know your thoughts of this and all of today's news update in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and a huge welcome if you are, and also be sure to check out my Patreon, the link is in the description down below. Otherwise, I'm Star Wars Meg wishing you all a phenomenal rest of the day, no matter where you dwell in the galaxy. Have a good one.